Hi everyone, this is CVGS, it's me Leon and once again it's uh, sad that we are unable to do something cool for the collaboration booster but uh, don't worry, we will be doing them real soon once the circuit breaker protocol is lifted in Singapore Right, so in any case, today yes, today, it's finally here the CB13 Gundam collaboration booster box has salty from their mothership Hooray! This is the Solar War Kakeru Senshi Fighters of the Universe uh, booster set for the Gundam series Okay, the set is actually pretty unique compared to the rest of the CB that has been released so far, such as the immediate introduction to the latest main uh, main set mechanics, which is the Tensei, as well as it's also purely boosting the 3 Gundam SD that was released without a mixed in of a different series, plus new cards to build the deck of the opposite factions of their respective series, uh, series which is the C, Double, as well as Unicorn, as you can see from the box cover. But before we start looking at the box aesthetics here, uh, here is what the set has to offer. It comes with uh, 45 commons, 11 res, 8 master res, 15 rebirth res, 6 x res, and 1 double x res. And then now looking at the packaging itself, okay, so here are the featuring uh, units that's under the cover. We have the double riser, we have the freedom gundam, high mat fugus, and of course the double x ray of the set which is the unicorn gundam awaken. And then we have the back which features Sinanju. Providence Gundam and the Unicorn Gundam 02 Benchy Non Destroy Mode. Uh, funny enough, Archie Gundam isn't here. But, eh, nobody cares about Archie. At least I don't. Ah. Okay, so now moving on. If you open the box, you'll be greeted with one of these uh, black packs which contains three of the different uh, art variations of Diamond Wars, which is based off the three series here that you can see. Uh, do feel free to go and look them up and then try and collect them all if you could which is which really shouldn't be too hard and then of course we have the packs itself the packs itself is actually pretty unique although it's just the same as the cover but the nice gloss they have here is pretty is really nice it's a nice touch to it and of course we have the gundam head uh, icon as well as the sunrise uh, copyrights over here okay with that uh, with that said now let's get straight to the unboxing and let's see what kind of cool cards we're gonna get in here. So we'll see you in a bit. And we're back and we have the cards layout here for you and we'll only be taking a look at the X-ray and above cards. So for more details and official translation for the current set or the current releases, please check out World Cards in the Facebook page with the links just down below. Okay, right before we get started, let me just point out a couple of things. One is that the this is just one of the diamond walls that you will get from the black pack earlier. It's a very nice alternate art that is uh, feature that is basically a reference to one point of the series. For this is where the strike Gundam blocks for the Archangel closing to the end of the of Gundam Seed, where Mulo Flaga blocks the Dominion's long gun cannon. Which is quite cool. And of course we need to take note for those who are not sure about Tensei because it's very very new, there are proxy cards for Tensei cards because due to their two-sidedness they cannot be inside the deck because your sleeves. You can't see them and you'll be quite irritating to keep sorting them all uh, back and forth so they release this on each of the booster packs for you to put into your deck to as a proxy until you play the cards onto the field and if they are removed you simply just put this back into your trash or put it uh, back into your deck depending on what happens to the tensei and i do notice that the card quality is a lot better this round uh it has a better quality than the Kamen Rider's cards so that's also one of the pluses about this set i have to say Okay, without further ado, let me just go straight into the cards. And uh, lucky for us, we managed to hit the Gundam uh, Unicorn's Double X Rare, which is the Unicorn Gundam Awaken from the family of MS. Effect is your when your Braves from the family pilot is destroyed by your opponent by returning all the Brave cards back to your hand, summon this card from your hand without paying the cost. Level 2 and 3, during both players' attack step, your opponent cannot summon spirit cards, brave cards, fruit effects, slash burst effect. Lastly, level 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks or block once per turn by paying one cost to summon one card from your family pilot in your hand, this spirit refreshes. Okay, this card is a very generic Gundam card, for which all three of the sets can be played together with, because for the fact that it works on pilot braves, and in, part in particular, the Gundam Double is one of the sets that might be able to play out this card better than the Unicorn set would actually, which is kind of funny. 
because the Gundam Unicorn set plays a lot of pilots, especially during the early game, where they are playing to filter or playing to um, send things to the uh, to the trash, like the Transam or certain units to do uh, arm invention reductions and stuff like that. So it's actually very good uh, way to kickstart the deck itself with the Unicorn Gundam if it happens to be in your hand. If this is in your hand and you place a pilot and your opponent somehow did something to it and destroyed that pilot, immediately it will trigger the effect and it will come down and rain hell upon your opponent by forcing him to unable to summon spirit or brave through effects. And that is quite devastating for a lot of cases, especially these days, there is a lot of uh, spirit cards when they activate through a burst and they can easily turn the tide around and this Unicorn Gundam actually basically stops that. But of course, do note that this Unicorn is still pretty exposed due to it does not have any form of protection uh, from any of the uh, effects and it can still trigger its ability for refreshing on attack or defending, which is pretty good and it's only once per turn. Still, a very good addition to have, but I wouldn't say it's a necessar uh, necessity, but it's still pretty good, as it is. Moving on, we have its rival card for the Unicorn series, the Sinanju, from the family of MS and Sleeps. The effect is level 1-2. Uh, when this spirit is summoned, during this turn, all your spirit from the family sleep is artifacted by opposing effects. Level 1 and 2, during your attack step, when your opponent spirit, uh, sorry, when your spirit is blocked, refresh this spirit. Then, uh, then its last ability is when it's brave, on level 2, when your attack step, if a brave with a card named Full Frontal is brave to this card, the symbol of the spirit becomes tree symbol. So what it's basically telling you here is that on the turn where it shows up, it's basically the strongest because when it summons, it protects all your sleep cards and if, when your spirits are blocked, it refreshes this card. At best, if you are equipped with Fruit Frontal, brave to it, it's a tree symbol card and it's even more devastating that your opponent must block. So it helps to reinforce the idea that to make your opponent start blocking or otherwise use a flash effect if they have any to get rid of the Sinanju. And the fact that it's only cost 6 makes it pretty easy to come out very early in the game. And its maintenance cost is only until uh, level 2 for only 3 core. Although it can't go any further, but I think that's good enough as it is. And it still works pretty well in the SD set, considering that how much sleeve unit, uh, sleeves units are inside that set itself. If you don't take into account of the booster, for the SD, if you just throw this into the deck, it will be a very good addition aside from the Unicorn Gundam itself and it can also force NTD, which is very very nice. And then next, we have the, what we call the God, <laughs> the Gundam God, not to be mistaken with God Gundam. Okay, we have the Freedom Gundam High Mat Full Burst, okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite a Gundam seat inside joke anyway. So, okay, this is the MS slash uh, from the family of MS and Orb. It had comes with a change effect, which is cost 6 with 4 diamond reductions, which is white reduction. Send any number of opposing spirit up to total cost of 40 back to the hand. Uh, after the effect resolve, either discard this card or ignoring break cost, switch with one of your spirit with only white color, cost 5, 7, or 9 and put it in a refresh state. Then next is level 1, 2 and 3, which is spray shift armor, 7 or less. Uh, this spirit is unaffected by any opposing effect of cost 7 or less. Lastly, it has a flash ability where both players attack step. Once per turn, refresh this spirit, or during this turn, this spirit gains additional white symbol. Okay, this is actually quite unique because it's a flash effect on both players step which allows it to refresh or gains a symbol. I can see this card playing pretty well even uh, playing in the SD as well or against certain cards that force battle into playing symbol because it gives one additional white symbol and it, let's say the fight forces opponent to play by symbol colors you give yourself a better chance because most spirit only, only has one symbol but of course take note that it's once per turn and you choose either to refresh or to use the additional symbol so you have to choose very wisely depending on the situation um, as for being part of the SD, furthermore, to emphasize, because it changes on 5, 7, or 9, so Freedom is one of those cards that can uh, get a change from the X SD itself. Or the Strike Gundam, there's the normal Strike Gundam that actually has the ability to cost 5. So you can actually switch it with that if you know how to play your cards right. And it can come up very early in the game, so long as you can keep your symbols up to, six, uh, to at least 4 reduction. 2 costs, here it comes. And its maintenance cost is only 
1, 2 and 4 for its highest level and that is actually a very good addition. Either way, it's flexible and it's still a, pretty, and still a very good card to be to use. And moving on lastly is towards the is the Double Riser. The Double Riser comes from the family MS and Celestial Being. The effects is the level 1, 2 and 3. When this spirit is summoned, you may add one call from the Void to each of your spirit from the family Celestial Being. In addition, if you have two or more spirit containing a name Gundam on the field, send your opponent's hand to the open zone. Lastly, it's level 2 and 3. When this spirit attacks, discard one card from your opponent's open zone and destroy one opposing spirit of cost 8 or less. At the end of the battle, by sending three cards from the name uh, containing the name Gundam from your trash to the bottom of the deck, this spirit refreshes. Okay, he is a bit different from his other units that has been released from what I see, especially from the SD. The SD was focused a lot on arm intervention, which is quite understandable because if they're doing this based on the season, the first season of Gundam Double was basically the Gundam just showing up, beating up everybody. Hence, arm, arm intervention. Okay, so but he doesn't support. The, he doesn't have that arm intervention ability, and he's a bit more uh, out front in terms of combat because on summon he actually has the chaos ability where it gives a core boost to all of your other celestial being units. And if you have two or more, it actually sends your opponent's entire hand to the open zone, which does restrict certain cards ability such as radiant descent, which could be the only means of opponent's uh, defensive mechanism, depending on why it is. And his level 2 and 3 is not necessary that you destroy something because it's a, it's a full stop at the in between. So it says when you attack, you can discard you can discard a card from your opponent's open zone and destroy one opposing spirit that cost eight or less. So if he doesn't have any cards in the open zone, you cannot destroy. However, you still can at the end of the battle by sending three cards containing the name Gundam in your trash to the bottom of the deck, you can refresh the spirit. Uh, things to just know that because it's based on Name, namesake. It's a bit like the supernova deck, actually. Um, if you send, if you you need to calculate beforehand that how many times do you want to refresh this turn, or do you want to be a bit more careful and not overcommit to that, uh, due to the fact you are after all sending three units with Gundam in their name, regardless of what Gundam they are. But it also, interestingly enough, opens options. You see, if you play a hybrid deck between the Celestia being the double set with maybe say um C for say what are the odds that you have Gundams in your trash especially the seed SD if you think about it you want to go crazy on this thing but I'll highly not recommend because cause it it's a bit more pricey than most of the other things it's uh, surprisingly one of the more expensive spirits to play in the set uh, because um uh, freedom himself isn't too bad because you can change effect to come out so long your conditions are met. The other expensive unit would easily be Unicorn Gundam. Uh, and but Unicorn Gundam has a right range of ability that straight up decimates your opponent's field, so maybe that's understandable. But double is a bit on the I wouldn't say gamble, but I can safely say it's a it's quite iffy. But it gets a job done. I like it. I really like the card. And of course, with that said, that is all I have for you today. If you like what you see here, do remember to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of all, uh, all our latest videos and our shenanigans. Then of course, do follow us on all our socials, which is uh, starting from our Twitter, our Instagram, and of course, our Facebook, and lastly, Discord. We'll be there on most nights, especially Jungle and Brandon. And myself, these days, I'm a bit more active because why not, all right? And you can talk to us about anything, you want to talk about games, maybe play Vanguard EX or play other games. Just, uh, la just let us know. Just join us there, alright? And with that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!